Donald Trump has always said that all Americans deserve health care. But if they don't wish to buy that privilege, then they, shouldn't, then they shouldn't be forced to. These next seven steps will broaden health care access, it'll make health care more affordable for the middle class working American, and it'll improve health care for everyone. Okay, step number one. We're going to completely repeal the Affordable Care Act. It's a disaster and it's brought, it's, a, it's brought us more in debt than we're already in. Number two, we're going to modify the law that prohibits the sale of health insurance across state lines. Number three, if you don't use the money that you're spending on health care, then the government should reimburse you for some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. Number four, we want to allow health savings accounts to be passed down to heirs um, without fear of being punished. Number five, we're going to require price transparency from all health care providers. Um, to make sure individuals can buy the best prices for procedures or anything else uh, in, in their medical needs. Number six, we're going to make Medicaid a state government organization rather than something that the federal government is going to deal with because each state knows what the people who are living in the state needs best. Um, number seven, we're going to let everyone get safe, dependable drugs for a cheaper price than they can get them at now. Um, every year we spend about $11 billion on medical care for illegal immigrants. If we can enforce immigration laws and crack down on those laws, we can spend the money on Americans who need the money, who need the help. We can use it to, to strengthen our, our, our army. We can use it to, um, to benefit the education system. We can use it to help the people who don't have enough money to help themselves. Um, also, right now, deductibles have gone way up. We need to bring them down. They're too much money, and, and um, we need to bring them down. Thank <laughs> you.